what should I do today? That flux is still up for sale, but it's on eBay. It's got six hours to go, but it's got five watches, but I don't think anyone's going to want to buy it. I don't know why. Um, some people have asked me about it, but oh, I don't know, man. I don't think I'm asking a ridiculous price either, to be honest with you. There we go. I don't really know what to do today, really. It's uh, Saturday morning. I've just been down to get my van MOT'd, and uh, yeah. I sold that steam engine, the steam engine's gone, uh, the, 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 um, the new one, um, sold that. Do you know that was from the 1970s? I didn't even know, but apparently I, I had it dated, it's from the 1970s. So I wonder where these ones are from, I mean I don't know how you're supposed to date them really, I got someone else, I sent them a picture, someone on, this, on the uh, forum sent them a picture and they were like, yeah that one's from the 1970s, but I think that one in the back there is older, um, I'm not sure, but you know. Um, so it was all good. I know, uh, where's that? That one there is from 1945. I know that much. Um, if anyone knows how to date these uh, Mamod and, uh, I don't know how you pronounce it, Wilsco um, steam engines, please let me know. Because um, I'd like to get them all dated, but um, people on the forum are a little bit like, um, they don't really like to help too much. Uh, and, but, you know, one guy, he just said, oh, uh, for, that's from the 1970s. I was like, well, cheers, dude. Thank you very much. But some, sometimes uh, they don't really like to help too much. But. I need to know how to date them, so if someone uh, knows how to date them, I'd like to know uh, how old they are, sort of thing. I know that one's old, this one's old, because this one was my cousin, and uh, he died when he was 16, before I was even born. So it's just quite old, that one. So, it's got to be at least from the 70s, at least, I would have, I would have thought. Sweet, well I'm going to find something to do today. Um, I could have a look at that power supply actually, I don't know, it's, it's a bit weird. Um, I've got the tumble dryer on, so it's a bit noisy. Hopefully it's not too noisy for you lot. But it's a bit weird, this power supply. It used to provide um, 12 volts, but now, if we flick it on, it don't even do none. But then when it gets a little bit warm, it'll go up to about one and a half um, volts. Well, at least it did. now it's not doing any at all. Oh, that needle does move a slight bit. Only a little bit though, when I do that. That should be 12 volts, that should be. So, there's obviously something gone wrong inside there. This is old. Um, when was the last time it was tested? The last time it was tested, but 1988 there. Uh, 1986 on that one. And that one just says, oh, that's 85. There you go, 1985. So the last time it was tested was 88. So it's it, in a, the first one was 85. So it's at least what's that? 30? Is that 30 years? I'm no good at maths, but I reckon that's 30 years. No. Yeah, that's 30 years. Got to be because of 2015 now. <clears throat> I don't know. Uh, you can all laugh at me for my incapability of working out a simple maths sum, probably. But there we go. So we'll have a look now, maybe, I don't know. It's, a, it's the next day now, and um, I haven't really, didn't really do too much um, inter interesting things yesterday, but I've got to cut the grass today, because it's getting long. And we had a lot of red rain pretty much all day yesterday, I mean, pretty much all day was rain, and uh, I haven't got a lot of grass. Um, I wish my garden was bigger, but it ain't. But the grass still grows because I coated it in fertilizer in the summer, so it's growing like crazy in a minute still, even though it's um, uh, November now. But it, it, the temperature yesterday was 15, 16 degrees, 17 at some points. It's crazy for this time of year. Usually it's cold, you know, you get frost in the morning and everything, but there's nothing now. It's um, properly crazy, like, I don't know what's going on really. But uh, I do want to. Have start fucking about with this. Um, oh, I've got to fix that steam mop. Um, that's actually my aunt. I pulled it for her for her birthday. That steam mop. Oh, no, you know what happened with the steam mop. I didn't buy it for her. I got the replacement, and my aunt said, "Oh, I want a steam mop." So I said, "Oh, well, you can have that one." Um, so I got to fix it. So I was just like, "You can have it for your birthday." <laughs> I saved sorts that out, didn't it? 
So, but what I want to do is I want to start fucking about that generator. I want to try and get that generator going. Um, but I don't know, I don't know how to do it really. Uh, I don't have a spark, so I've got to try and get a spark going. But um, I'm going to have some more shells here soon. That'll be right. But let's go and get the old lawnmower out, and uh, we'll cut the grass. But there's a lot of leaves that come down from the various trees. I've got to give that a trim up there. That bush needs a trim. Oh, I don't like it coming across there. There's a hole in the fence there now, so then people can see through. I need to put something there, really. But um, I need to cut the grass and see what else I can find to do. I hate this mess. I had all that nice wood there. It's all got soaking wet now. I put it outside when it was sunny and dry, and now it's all got wet. We all... That, that was engine oil in there. It's been rained on, and now it's spilt everywhere. Ugh, mate... I hate this corner. This corner's the worst bit of the garden, I swear. It's just crap everywhere. I don't have, a, have the um, time to funny about with, really. Oh, look, there's a spider. I filled that padlock with WD-40 so that it wouldn't go stiff and rusty in the rain, because I knew it was going to rain. So I was like, I'm, I think ahead. Sweet. Hello, Mr. Lawnmower. Right, let's get it out and we'll check the oil on it because I ain't checked the oil on it for a while because I've been lazy. Well, I got it out. I tried um, pouring that engine oil in that tub under there. But I spilt most of it. Bloody. It's going to make a mess. Just have to hope it rains quite a lot now and it'll wash it away down there somewhere. Anyway. Let's have, a, let's have a little check of this thing, shall we? I ain't checked the oil on this for a couple of um, weeks. This engine, I don't know if I've done a video on it actually. It's a Briggs & Stratton uh, mower. Well, the, the deck is Briggs & Stratton, but the uh, engine is Honda. Because uh, I had... Um, is that what it is? Yeah, that is what it is, isn't it? Yeah. And the handle and everything. This is off the Briggs & Stratton one, I think. If I remember correctly, yeah, I'm pretty sure it is because it had that on it. And the engine um, stopped running properly. So what I done was I uh, put this Honda engine because the deck from the Honda mower was all rusted and everything weren't very good. So I just swapped them over and uh, yeah, hunky dory, it's been alright. There's, there's a bolt missing out of the deck. Well, that don't matter. I'm going to have to get myself a pair of pliers, I think. It's uh, stuck itself, stuck itself in there. Come on. It's um, Sunday today and it's, it's going to be one of those days, I reckon. It's going to be one of them days, I think. Today. Yesterday was an alright day, but today is just going to be one of those pain in the ass days. I've already got a feeling and I already know from the way the morning's gone so far me dropping all that oil and everything right. well we've got too much oil I don't know how there can be too much oil because when I put it in there there was a uh, it was just halfway so that's a bit strange and there's no coolant to mix with it to top it up so I don't know how that's happened never mind Never mind, we'll have to just deal with that one day. Right. Anyway, the winter's coming, so it'll be servicing time soon. Servicing time soon. We're oh, a bit low on petrol. We'll let that we'll let that run out, and we'll put some fresh stuff in it because this petrol's about a year old in here now. Quite literally, I haven't put any petrol in it since the end of last summer. Let alone the end of this summer. Never mind. Right then.
Don't like going on low revs, is it? Is my I get in this car, it reminds me of McDonald's. This car pretty much constantly smells of McDonald's, and I don't even eat a lot of McDonald's in here. It's bloody weird, days. Anyway, I'm gonna have a. Oh, what did I do with that? I'm gonna have a look about. Yeah, I'm gonna have a look to see if I can find my um, little um, tools to take out this radio, this head unit, and. I've got the right, well I hope is the right adapter now um, to, to make the um, controls work I hope it is because if it ain't well what can I say bloody well should be this is the second one I've had, the company that I bought it from I sent the old one back and they sent me another one Land Rover Discovery Highline I don't know what the Highline bit means, but apparently it's meant to be the right one. This bit already looks wrong again, but it's been a, about a month now since I got this replacement one. Oh no, that might be right. Oh, hopefully this is right then. Well, I don't know. Um, but I can't remember what I've done with the, with, with the box, with the tools, to get the edge unit out now, so I'm going to have to go back in the garage and have a look, because I can't remember what I've done with it. And I thought it was in the, I thought it was in the glove compartment, but it ain't. So, I'm gonna go now. Oh, wait, unless I put it in here. Did I put it in? No, I didn't put it in there. I'm gonna have to go back in the garage and have a look so I can find the tools, the little thin tools to get that out. I'll be back in a sec. Well, I've just spent ages looking for the bloody little um, box, um, the little plastic box where you're meant to put the head unit um, fascia in. So I thought I'd put these in it, but I didn't. They're in the glove compartment. Huh, right back. Never mind. Alright, so now I've got to get this off. I, I'm going to need two hands. But I need to get the little surround bit off here. And I can stick the, the little things in and pull it out and we'll have a look. Right. Um, I've got it in line. It does fit. It's the right connectors. They all fit. That's the little adapter thing. And I've noticed. Made in the UK. Sweet man, you don't get many things that are made here anymore. Everything's always made in China. Never mind. Right, let's put the old key in the ignition and we'll have to test it before I put it back because I don't want to put it back and then find that it don't bloody work anyway. Oops. Hang on, I'm trying to do everything here with uh, only one hand, as per always, is a little bit difficult. Well, it's come on. Oh, well, I've lost all my settings now, though, probably because I've unplugged it. Bastard thing. We got static, but let's see. Do the volume controls work? No. Is the answer to that? They don't. Why is that then? I wonder. Right, let's go back and make sure we're plugged in properly. Well, would you bloody believe it? I told you, didn't I just say that today was going to be a bad day? It's going to be one of those bad days, right? Well, I was right already. And it's only, what, 12 minutes past 10 in the morning. And I've already spilt some oil on the floor. And now I've got bad luck with this thing, right? Because 
I, I should have noticed before, but I didn't. I didn't think. You know, they sent me the replacement because I sent. I messaged them and I said, "Oh, it's the wrong one. It doesn't work." Sent them pictures of my wiring loom, and they said, "Oh, that's okay. No problem. Send it back. We've got the right one here. When we receive the one that you sent back, we'll send you out the right one, and you'll be, you have no problems." Oh, okay. Thank you very much. So they've sent me this one, right? So the wires do fit. Everything's fine. But what they didn't send me is the other half. Because I know for a fact that it comes in two halves for some reason. It doesn't all come in the same package. So I've got this bit and this here. But what I haven't got, and I didn't realise because I was stupid, and I'm going to have to message them back and ask for it now, is this is the wiring loom. This is that little box what I had in my hand. right? So I've got all this here. But I haven't got this plug that goes round here with a little thing on it that plugs in the back of the radio. That's why I ain't got. They were meant to send me that because it's the other half, you know, it's the other bit. I got it the first time, um, but they asked me to send everything back. I said, can I just, I need this bit. And they said, no, um, please send everything back and we'll send you everything back again. So I said, all right, if that's the way they want to do it, that's not a problem. And I just didn't check, you know, I should have checked it before I come out here and uh, started to do this. And I should have checked it before I opened that packet, but I didn't. So it's my fault for not checking it, but also it's their fault for not sending me out the right bit. But it's been like a month now, or however long it was since I'd done the first video on this. That's how long it's been. So I'm hoping if I message them and tell them, they might still, uh... They might still say, oh yeah, sorry, we'll send you it out. Either that, I'm going to have to buy the, I'm gonna have to buy that wire. It's about 10 quid, I think. Um, which I have already paid, so they should send it. Unless they think I'm trying to scam them or something, but who knows. Anyway, so I'm going to take all this out of the line again. Now I'm going to take all this out and put it back how it was until I get the other bit. So, yep, told you it was bad luck. Today is going to be one of them days. wonder what else can go wrong. Let me think. What else can go wrong? I hope nothing. 